Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a little trip, if you don't mind. And that little trip is going to be to the A-T-A-M-A-S dot O-R-G, datamass dot org. We're going to go to datamass dot org. And we need to advise you all of something. Nothing bad, actually something very good, because this is what we do. At least I do it. I'm not a part of that mass, but I am giving them some extra information to help you all out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, each one of these programs, um, this one right here, there might be an additional charge, minimal, nothing large. But the other ones, I think that we, this one and this one, I think that we might do it at no additional charge, and I'll have to talk with them about this one because they're implementing these two programs now. Ladies and gentlemen, we had to wait until time passed in order to make sure that we got out all the kinks and that there wasn't kickback or blowback and that the individuals were trained. We are now going after assuring that some of our clients can be a little bit more comfortable with the results. And I can't say anything more than that. All I can say is that they'll be well pleased with the results now. And we are going to implement it for the prior clients. And we will send out a letter to you. Do not inquire of data mass. I haven't fully gone over this with them. But we will be implementing it for all of the clients as of now. You will receive a notification as to how this fits in and how it benefits you. Like I said, because I'm not part of the company, I can't speak about certain things. They have to let you guys know that through their notifications. I can only give them the information, go over it with them, make sure they're versed in it. And we do talk on a regular basis because any issues that come up, they run it through me, by me, so that I can let them know based on what I know. I'm not the genius, but I can let them know based on the law and the laws that I know so that they can add it to their repertoire. But like I said, the idea here is to have people... First, not owing anything to anybody, but also being comfortable so that they don't ever have to be owing anybody anything. Read into it what you can, uh, because I can't do anything better than that. I did the best I could, even with that. Like I said, they'll have to let you know, and they will let you know. All right, this is just an update on data mass. The $400 billion lawsuit, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys only understood, they are in default. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen with the $400 billion lawsuit so that you guys understand. The court, about six months after the lawsuit is filed, and it's been since June, the court is going to say, you failed to prosecute. Then I'm going to say, thank you. And then I'm going to file a complaint against that judge. And then we're going to go on appeal. Because, see, the court is not just going to let us $400 billion times 150 plus different defendants. They're not just going to let us walk in and walk out like that. They're going to they gonna give us some problems. But I'm okay with that. Because, like I told you from the beginning, I anticipated that. I have their playbook. So I could anticipate that the Attorney General and that the <laughs> Federal Reserve would not respond I was counting on that. The same as Bradley Christopher Stark knew that they wouldn't respond to his request, and they did respond, but they said give them 60 days, and he knew that there's no way in the world they were going to respond in 60 days, and they didn't, so they defaulted. I wish you guys would really, 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 really pay attention. The district court document that we gave y'all, it has an arbitration clause. There's a duty to respond. Why? Because you're conditionally accepting their offer to enter into their court. Remember, they are not constitutional courts. So they don't have immunity. Uh, all of, everybody's been so backwards and mixed up with all of this. These courts are not sitting in their constitutional capacity. They don't have immunity. So, ladies and gentlemen, get you that form, FS, uh, excuse me, SF, it's uh, the standard form, SF 
95. Just go to Google or do it like this. SF Noventa Cinco. And there it is right there. Now, the GSA form. That's what you want. You want GSA. You can also get the one from the so-called Department of Justice, but I promise you I'd rather get it from the GSA because they're the ones who produce the form. Get it from the GSA. Fill that form out against any judge. If you're in a traffic court matter, if you're in a eviction matter, doesn't matter. Fill the form out against the judge. Send a copy to the presiding judge of the court and the administrative office of that court. You want to send it to the chief administrator of the court. That's not the presiding judge, people. Every court building has an administrative office that handles all administrative things, the accounting and all of that. Send it to that idiot. It's their job to send it to risk management. And you put a nice little letter. I need you to send this to risk management. I need you to document this complaint against this officer. Just that simple. And you have to document a constitutional right that's been violated. Excuse me. A constitutionally secured right that has been violated. And you can get technical if you want. And if you have laws and case citation to go with it, by all means add it. Add an addendum. Do not add hundreds of pages. It's not necessary. Write a simple statement. You can even have ChatGPT write your statement. As long as you articulate to ChatGPT what you want it to write, you can use ChatGPT as your assistant. There is no law against it, and there can't be any law against it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, some of you are really going to understand what I just did for you with the filing a complaint against these judges. Some of you are really going to understand how simple the process really is and how filling out that form does you more good than it could ever do you any harm. All right, have a good day, everybody. Take care of yourselves.